Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast. I'm Leon Bibb. Youth Opportunities Unlimited hosts an evening with Patti LaBelle on November the 8th. The president, Carol Rifshin, is here to tell us more about the event. And later on today, we'll hear from Alexandria Johnson Boone about the Women of Color Foundation. She'll tell us about the annual Leadership Development and Training Institute. And on the program after that, David Rothstein of Neighborhood Housing Services of Greater Cleveland will explain how his organization is helping Clevelanders. And after that, we'll talk to Cordell Stokes of the Urban League about what's going on at the Urban League. Good morning. I'm Leon. I'm Bibb, and this is Kaleidoscope, and so we begin. Hey, Carol, how are you? Carol Rivshin. Great. Great to see you, Leon. Thanks Th for having me on. Things are well at Youth Opportunities Unlimited? Can't complain. We just, uh, this summer, we had 3,200 youth, ages 14 to 19, who were working everywhere in Cuyahoga County. We had 651 work sites, mm -hmm. and these kids earned an average of about $1,000. Oh. So they, they earned money, and they learned about business, and they met a, an employer, and most of them had a great time. The employers were very impressed. About 95% of the employers said they'd love to keep the kid if they could, and some of them did keep our young and people. And if a kid can earn $1,000, That'll be nice. That fits nicely in the pocket. Oh, you aren't kidding. A lot of them were saving for prom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they were saving for an extra yeah. pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. so some of them were saving for college education. Tell me about the pro programs and services that Youth Opportunities Unlimited offers. Well, we're celebrating our 30th anniversary. We started out as a summer jobs program, and as you hear, we still do summer jobs. But YOU has become an organization that motivates kids to stay in school and graduate. As you know, for a long time the graduation rate in the Cleveland schools was pretty low mm -hmm. and what we found is that young people really want a job so we'd say all right you come to our after-school program you stick with our program and we'll give you a job the graduation rate in our programs is 85 percent so in many schools including Euclid and including East Cleveland uh, and in many of the Cleveland schools we are an after-school program or an in-school program that's helping kids stay in school and graduate and they do get the job that we promised them. and that's a wonderful wonderful thing uh, talk about staying in school and after-school programs you recently merged with East City mm -hmm. uh, which was an after-school program mm -hmm. tell me how's that, w w what what happens now now that you've merged well East City was a wonderful program that taught entrepreneurship and and it's connected with the national uh, the network for teaching entrepreneurship a national uh, program and so we took over uh, East City in Cleveland and so now young people can not only get a job and employability skills training with YOU they also could be in the East City program and learn how to start their own business we think um, adding entrepreneurship to our lineup for kids 14 to 19 is very important because a lot of young people need to be entrepreneurial and may have what it takes to start their own business I know you've got a big fundraiser coming up with Patty LaBelle who's in town and I want to ask you about that but I do want to I've, I got a lot of people out here probably want to know how they can get students referred to Youth Opportunities Unlimited. How do in the schools uh, where we operate, um, the, the kids will find out about it in the school. They can call YOU at 216-566-5445 mm -hmm. or they can go to our website, youthopportunities.org to get more information to see if okay. we're in their school and if we can do something. And for sure, in January, everybody should register online uh, to be eligible for a summer job. This past summer, we had 12,000 young people around Cuyahoga County who registered, and one in four got a summer job with YOU. So. Oh, that's wonderful. And we've yeah. got that phone number and website right there at the bottom of the screen, so you Great. might want to take a pencil or, and, and write that number down while you're thinking about it. Let's talk about Patty, Patty LaBelle, November the 8th, the great Patty LaBelle yes, in well, Cleveland. Yes, well, we're so excited to be able to have her. Um, we, we really lucked out, but we wanted to do something to celebrate 30 years and to get people outside of um, our own network, you know, to know about YOU, Youth Opportunities Unlimited, yeah. and what we do. So... Patty LaBelle is coming. She'll be at the State Theater on Friday, November 8th. Um, people can just call Playhouse Square and get tickets. Uh, they can also ask us, but basically we're doing it through Playhouse Square. She'll be at the State Theater. So it'll be a big fundraiser. Uh, it'll be a packed night. So it's a lot easier to get tickets for November the 8th, and that's, uh, that's a Friday evening, 8 o'clock, right. Playhouse Square at the State Theater. If people could call State Theater, 
uh, or, or Playhouse Square, it's a lot easier to get Two, four, one, six thousand, just like everything else that goes on at Playhouse Square. Um, YOU is located right at Playhouse Square, so we're really So it's a great partnership. Be, that's exactly right. Hand in right. glove, right there, working <laughs> together. Exactly right. Two, four, one, six thousand uh, in the 216 area code for more information on the, uh, on the Patti LaBelle concert Friday at the State Theater that is in Playhouse Square in downtown Cleveland, Euclid Avenue, around East 17th Street, or in that's that, right. that, that neck of the woods right, right. there. You are going to be there. This is a wonderful, wonderful event. It, 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 that, that's a significant feather in the hat of YOU, Youth Opportunities Unlimited, to bring in the great singer, Patti LaBelle. Thank you. Well, we want to go to the next step. We figure there are 30,000 young people, 14 to 19, in Cuyahoga County who need our services. Mm -hmm. We're helping 3,000. We want to grow. So we want to raise money. Uh, Patty agreed to do this event. Uh, we're just thrilled to have her. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a real love fest for Cleveland and for Patty LaBelle. So when we show up for the Patty LaBelle concert, not only will we be helping Youth Opportunities Unlimited, which of course is the overall umbrella, that's the whole idea, but having a good time and grooving to oh, Patty LaBelle. There will music. be nothing boring about this show. It'll be all <laughs> Patty all the time. It's going <laughs> and it's going to rock in the right. rock and roll capital of the world too. Exactly Patty right. LaBelle. She, 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 will, she will raise the roof. Yes, and her band is coming. Her okay. whole entourage, everybody's coming. Okay, it's going to be a wonderful time. Carol Rifshin, president of Youth Opportunities Unlimited, talking about the Patti LaBelle concert uh, fundraiser for Youth Opportunities Unlimited. Once again, it's Friday, November the 8th, 8 o'clock at Playhouse Square. And call Playhouse Square for information on the tickets, and that's 2416000 in the 216 area code. We'll see you Friday, November the 8th. Patti LaBelle. Thanks, Leon. Thank you, Carol. Okay. Good to have you on the broadcast. Thanks. As always, sing with Patty too. She'll invite <laughs> you up. You need to do a duet with Patty. <laughs> we'll look forward to that. I'm going to take a break right now, but in a moment we'll return with the annual Women of Color Foundation event. But first, these words, especially for you. Welcome back to Kaleidoscope. Good to have you with us. The Women of Color Foundation hosts its annual Leadership Development and Training Institute and Awards Luncheon. That's slated for November the 7th. Its founder and chairwoman, Alexandria Johnson Boone, is here to tell us more about the Women of Color Foundation event. Good to see you, Alex. Thanks, Leon, for having me back. You're one of our regulars here. Yeah, I think I need a parking space, okay? <laughs> so do I. I can use a parking like a space. <laughs> but we'll find one for you, Alex. Okay. Good to have you with us. Thanks. Refresh us on. On the, on, on, the, on the primary mission of the Women of Color? Well, the Women of Color Foundation was founded in 2002, and we focus on leadership development and education and training for women and girls of all colors. All colors? I, I always say white is a color for us. So white, br black, brown, Latino, red. Latino, whatever. All and yellow, women all who, in between. Women who are seeking education. And that's, and that's, right. and that's a good thing. Yes. You've got a big, big uh, uh, annual leadership development and training institute yes. and, and awards luncheon coming up. Yes. Well, what's going to happen there? Well, the most exciting thing that's going to happen is that we're going to be uh, bestowing our awards for 2013 on three outstanding prominent women here in Cleveland. A mutual friend of ours, Masha Maccabee from the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, is receiving the um, Woman of the Year Award. And then we have Dr. Ellen Burtz Cooper, who is going to receive the Young Professional Woman of the Year Award. And then finally, Charmaine Brown the Director of Diversity and Inclusion at Forest City is receiving our prestigious Stephanie Tubbs Jones Courage Award. Oh, that's great. Yes. Why, why is it important to make these awards and to make them uh, public like this? Well, you know, Leon, I think it's so important that we as women support each other. You know, often you hear things about, you hear about bad things that happen to people, but not about good things that happen to people or about their successes and their careers and their personal and professional lives. So we want to hold these women up as role models to show people that no matter from where you've come, you can achieve. You have to just believe it and achieve it. Uh, you're holding this on Thursday, November the 7th at uh, Cleveland State University's at the Student Center. Correct. We've been there for the last two years, and this is our eighth annual event, and the foundation turns 12 years old next year, oh, awesome. so we're pretty excited about the things that have been going on and, and the support that we receive from the community and from our sponsors, you know, Cleveland Clinic, American Reading, News Channel 5 yeah. has been an extraordinary partner for us over the last three years. Well, we're glad to lend our name and whatever weight we may carry in the community to, you, to your organization. Thank you. Uh, uh, tell me, uh, what about tickets now? How can people get there? Well, there's two ways. One, they can go online and register. They can download our registration form. Uh, the fee is only $75 for the whole day, and that includes your lunch. That includes all the conference materials, the conference bags, and all of the workshops. 
or you can go to the website and apply for a scholarship. If you have a financial need, you can apply for a scholarship. We have a committee that reviews those applications and then we grant scholarships because we have enjoyed uh, terrific uh, uh, corporate support yeah. so we can do scholarships as well. And you can also go to womenofcolorfoundation.com. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's, that's our your, website. That's your website. Yes. Oh, there's a phone number there where people can get information of 216-391-4300, uh, extension 307. Correct. I should add that we, after we do these broadcasts, we put them on our website. Yeah. So this is on this is on our newsnet5.com website. You can, you can look at this whole thing again and take notes on it if you like. Uh, 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 and we're always glad to have people on, on the website. You talked about you founded this organization 12 years ago. Right. What was your mindset? What were you thinking about? You, you know what, Leon, people ask me that all the time, and it's the strangest thing. Um, Joanne Clark, who used to be the head of the National City Foundation, uh, was a dear friend of mine, and Bonnie Barenholtz from um, the Birch, I mean, from uh, Aurora, Ohio, from the Walden Inn, was a friend of mine, and she invited me out to a rejuvenation retreat. Mm -hmm. But the retreat focused mostly on, you know, physical and health, and I thought, wow, wouldn't this be a great idea for women of color to talk about, you know, educational experiences, life experiences. So I went to Joanne at National City, and she said, Alex, I don't know if this will work, but if you say it will, I trust you. And she gave us a grant for $10,000 to start our retreat, and the rest is history. And the rest is history. Right. And, and you're right now, and you're, and you're still going on. We're I mean, we'll just on. Keep, on, keep on going on. And, and we have volunteers, we have corporations, we have media partners, and it just, I mean, we're like a snowball now, and I'm hoping soon to have a permanent facility so we can host our events in our own location. So we're going we're gonna to probably do a capital campaign because we have proven that we can sustain ourselves. Among the things I love about your organization is, although you call yourself the Women of Color Foundation, mm -hmm. you include everybody. Everybody. Everybody's there. Yes, everybody. I mean, it's, it, uh, and uh, like you said, white is a color, white is a black's color. a color, right. and all the colors in between. In between, and not only that, Leon, we also include men now. Mm -hmm. For years, we did not but we have included men as speakers and panelists over the last three years and it's been phenomenal because you guys do know some things because women <laughs> women used to be girls and the only way you get to have a girl it has to be a man it has to be, has a woman. To be involved somehow there's so, got to be an involvement so there. we have so learned some valuable lessons men are vital yes, to women and women are vital, vital to, to men, men it's right. the yin and the yang it's all about the community and making everything work it's certainly yes. once again it's going to be thursday november the 7th cleveland state university at the student center mm -hmm. Uh, the Women of Color uh, Leadership Development and Training Institute and the awards luncheon, giving out some awards to, to some loving people and some well-known people in this community. Talented young women. And, and, and those who attend, the men and the women who attend for right. $75, right. you get so much. You get so much. It's worth every penny. Okay. Yeah. Good to see you, Alex. Thank so, you, Leon. It's going to be on November the 7th, Thursday. Phone number 216-391-4300 or go to womenofcolorfoundation.com. Calm. Thank you. And you'll find everything you need to know. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Leon. It was great being here again. Always good to have you with All us, right, Alex. Thanks. Coming up next, hear how one local organization is helping homeowners. I'm Leon Bibb. I'll be back in just a moment. You're in touch with Kaleidoscope. Good to have you with us. Neighborhood Housing Services of Greater Cleveland provides housing education for those planning to purchase a home. The organization also offers foreclosure prevention education. Its Director of Resource Development and Public Affairs is David Rothstein. He's here to tell us more about the organization. Also, he's going to explain how Cleveland Saves, that organization, is helping individuals manage their money. Good to have you with us, David Rothstein. Thank you, Leon. Thanks yeah. for having us here. Yeah, tell me about the, the, the oh, I just mentioned, the overall mission of Neighborhood Housing Services at Radio Cleveland. Absolutely. W would you say it pretty much the way I said it? You're helping yeah. people? We are helping people in a variety of different ways because we have a continuum. So we're helping people achieve, uh, preserve, and sustain the dream of home ownership. So we're there with them before they purchase their house through home buyer education. Uh, we're there with them after they purchase their house, uh, if they need uh, home repair loans mm -hmm. or uh, they need other advice. Uh, and then we're there uh, in the unfortunate incidents uh, that they might need foreclosure prevention assistance. Let's talk a little bit about that foreclosure sure. prevention program. We've, we've seen that. Some people even said that Cleveland might have been ground zero for the foreclosure problem that hit America a, a, a few years ago. How, how do you help folks? How do you, how do you get them out, out, of, out of that bad fix? Sure. Well, it's, it's it's very challenging, there's no doubt, and, and I certainly think that we were the epicenter of the foreclosure crisis. Uh, it hit here uh, early and often, 
Uh, for many families, uh, we help them get new loans or modify their existing loans so that they're in a payment uh, that they can afford that matches uh, their housing value. And we partner with the state of Ohio and through some federal programs to do that. Yeah, all of this really is about education. Be be before you make that big move, what, what it entails in buying a home. And that's what the uh, NHS uh, does, the Neighborhood Housing Services of Greater Cleveland. Right, yeah, our home buyer education program uh, is, is nationally recognized and uh, we serve uh, over a thousand people a year through home buyer education and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's free of charge and we welcome uh, anyone to visit us. Yeah. We were chatting a little bit before the broadcast began. We were talking a little bit about you hosted City Lift. Tell me about City Lift. Sure. So City Lift was a partnership between uh, Wells Fargo, Neighbor Works America, our, our parent organization, and Neighborhood Housing Services of Greater Cleveland, uh, where we helped uh, families who were interested in buying a home in the city of Cleveland uh, with down payment assistance if they were income eligible for it. Uh, and so families were able to receive uh, up to $15,000 in down payment assistance, um, and they're taking home buyer education courses with us. Uh, and so we put uh, about 240 some families into houses, or, or they will, they're in the pipeline right now. Um, and that's about $3.7 million in down payment assistance. Yeah. Now, can people call your organization and, and, and get, in, get in line to get in on these educational programs? They absolutely can. Um, you know, we, we look forward to working. Uh, you know, we're not just City of Cleveland, even though we certainly are, we're located in the City of Cleveland, but uh, we're available for anyone in yeah. Northeast Ohio. Yeah, let's put a phone number on the screen then, Oh, absolutely. David, then. Please. 216-458-4663, uh, uh, as you see at the bottom of the screen, or you can go to NHS Cleveland. Uh, that, uh, that stands, for, of course, for Neighborhood Housing Services uh, uh, of Greater Cleveland, nhscleveland.org. Uh, we were chatting a little bit earlier, too, I said at the, at the top of this segment, that you've got a partnership with the Cleveland Saves program. Absolutely. We've had them on this very broadcast. Sure. Tell me about your partnership with Cleveland sure. Saves. So Cleveland Saves is really a network of financial institutions, nonprofits, businesses uh, who understand that saving is hard. Uh, and for every message we hear about spending, we need to hear more about uh, saving. Uh, so Cleveland Saves is now uh, a program of NHS of Greater Cleveland uh, where we help people sign up as a saver, set goals. Uh, we provide them with budget uh, and calculators and resources uh, so that they can you know, try to save for whatever their goal is, whether it's home, you know, owning a home, uh, perhaps it's uh, saving for college or retirement. Mm -hmm. um, but what we have found is if people you know, set goals and they have the resources to do it and they're part of this big collaborative, we have over 25,000 yeah. savers that are part of the Cleveland Saves Network, uh, they're more likely to, to follow through and change behavior. David, I would think that that would be vital, though. Some years ago, we went through a, a period of time where you could, uh, you'd see commercials, buy a home with no money down. Right. Those days are probably gone. Right. And, and probably so you've got to have good, something. Well gone. And right. good that, that right. they're gone. Because right. you've got to have something up front. Right. Now, is that what you talk about when you, when you partner with Cleveland Saves and you talk about the educational programs for the public out there about saving your money to make that first step of, a, of perhaps a down payment. That's right. That's absolutely one of the first things we talk about. Um, and that's also incorporated in our home buyer education courses. Uh, but, you know, Cleveland Saves is interesting because it's a movement for everybody, really. Uh, you can, you know, the motto that we like to throw out there is that you can uh, start small and think big. So we have a lot of people who are Cleveland Savers who are saving for emergencies. Yeah. And, and they're really looking to save, you know, to create an account, a savings account with a local institution and have $500 for an emergency savings account. Yeah. So when the car goes bad or there's a medical emergency, you know, they don't have to borrow or, or go into debt. So You've it's got for any, everybody. Any special events taking place? Or so, yes, uh, the last week in February uh, into March 1st will be uh, Cleveland Saves Week. Uh, we will have some very cool prizes and raffles for people who commit to saving uh, and make deposits at some of our partner institutions, which we'll be uh, putting on our website uh, at clevelandsaves.org very shortly. What is your advice now? Uh, let me do a little show and tell. I had not planned on doing this. I'll pull out a dollar bill. Let's say somebody I hope you don't ask me to match that. I'm not sure no, no. if I have a dollar on me. <laughs> well, we're okay. I got a dollar bill here. Now, how much of this say this is what I, how much of this dollar bill should, should I save, you know? What, well, would, you, what, would, you, what would you suggest? <laughs> I mean, I would uh, you know, we would suggest that uh, in your planning stages, you, you know, you try to say, well, I've, you know, here's what I've committed towards spending this month, and I'm going to save the rest of it. Uh, and each, you know, each month, I'm going to try to save a little bit more. I'm going to save, maybe save a dime That's out right, of this. That's right, save a can, dime. Maybe a nickel out of this, but I need to do something. That's right. Well, and, it, and it's about the behavior change. It's about yeah. doing it so that when you're in a situation where you can save more, 
that you're, you're already doing it. So one of the things that we're really pushing and we're working with area organizations is about direct deposit okay. and actually splitting your paycheck and saying, I'm going to put some in checking, I'm going to put uh, some from direct deposit right into a savings account. Words of wisdom from David <laughs> Rothstein. We appreciate you being with thank us. Thank you so David. much for having me, Leon. And thank you for letting me pull out my... Yeah, I think I got... <laughs> this is lunch today. That's right. Fair enough. <laughs> a cheap lunch. Sure. David Rothstein, Director of Resource Development and Public Affairs for Neighborhood Housing Services of Greater Cleveland. You can reach him at 216-458-4663 or go to nhscleveland.org for more information on everything that we've been talking about. Thank you very much again. Okay, good to have you on the broadcast. Coming up next, Cordell Stokes of the Urban League of Greater Cleveland. This is the morning exchange part of our broadcast. That means the Urban League of Greater Cleveland is represented here. And Cordell Stokes joins us. With, he's with the Urban League. He's one of the job developers over there. Hey, Cordell. Good morning, Leon. How are you, sir? Okay, okay. okay. What are you thinking about today? All right. Mrs. Mockaby wanted me to recapture a couple of issues. Yeah. Um, as you know, about two months ago, Yvette Jackson Clark presented about the various workforce programs we do for younger youth, older youth, as well as our adult programs. At the tail end of that, what we try to do is to try and foster relationships with the business community so that as we work on the various skill sets to prepare these individuals to be competitive in the workforce environment, that we have that type of business environment available for our um, participants to be able to compete. Yeah. And on the back end, what we would like to do is to encourage our Greater Cleveland business community to be uh, acknowledging the fact that the Urban League is available with a pool of talent available to compete for their recruitment efforts. Mm -hmm. So we would encourage them to reach out to us at their earliest convenience in contacting me directly, Cordell Stokes at 216-622-0999. And I would like to speak with their HR representatives in order to see how we can best help position our candidates to fulfill their recruitment efforts. In our last 15 seconds here on this segment, uh, you, 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 the Urban League can serve as a middleman between those with jobs and those who are looking for jobs. You can serve as the middle person. Absolutely, and that is, in our, that, that is our intent. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, good to have you on the broadcast. Uh, sure. Cordell Stokes of the Urban League of Greater Cleveland. Good to have you with us. Thank you so much. Good to yeah. have you on the broadcast. Good to have you back in Cleveland, my friend. It's a pleasure. Thanks so much. We got to go. Take All care, right. everybody. Bye-bye. A weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5.